You go nothing. <clears throat> Hey guys, Fro Hungry here. I cannot stop smiling. The reason being, I'm in the Secret Santa collaboration for competitive eaters, and the package I got is addressed from a Mickey Sudo. Now, if you guys know anything about eating, you know that Mickey Sudo is the number one female competitive eater in the world and the number four for everyone and I've admired her for a while and just to get a package from her this is this is crazy like I, I feel like a little kid who just opened up the greatest package on Christmas which is basically what's going on because I'm a little kid packaged on Christmas anyways this is gonna be interesting to see what it is thanks a lot Mickey and thanks a lot Tracy for setting this whole thing up um, I think this is a great a great little contest and this will be interesting so without any further ado time to open this package up address from the Mickey Sudo and see what's inside So the very first thing that catches my eye, two fairly large cans of beef and chili sauce. Okay, so we have that for now. But let's not stop there. Braised gluten. That's a favorite. Squid strips, that should be interesting. And to top it all off, a mystery container, which I guess I will save for the end. With that being said, there's a letter in here, which I will shall now read. Happy Holidays Fro Hungry. We've yet to meet, so I'm not sure I'm making a great impression by sending you this assortment. I hear you've got the guts and balls to take on a good challenge, though. And no, I refrain from shipping you guts and balls. Merry Christmas and Godspeed, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey. I will try to prove myself to you, and I will try to not make a complete fool of myself. Hopefully what you've heard about me is right. So with that said, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a can opener and a spoon. Okay guys, I've returned with a can opener and a spoon. So I'm going to start off with the thing that I assume I'll like the most and being beef and chili sauce. This is a pound and 12 ounces of it. There we, that's one. Okay. Definitely smells like beef and chili sauce. Kind of an even cheaper than Chef Boyardee smell, if that's possible. Whoa, I didn't know it had noodles in it, too. Are those noodles? Whoa. <laughs> I did not expect that. I'm going to put that off to the side. Hopefully I'm not supposed to eat that as part of the challenge. Well, it looks like each 
beef of bit bit of beef has a paper container on it. I guess to keep it fresh or something. So let me go ahead and remove those first. Is this beef? Whoa. Oh sweet, it's a okay, it's like a little burrito. That's really cool. Ah, uh, I am making a mess. I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to eat these and then unwrap the rest. Because it's just, I'm making a mess. Okay. I didn't think it was possible, but I think these are lower grade than what they serve in public schools, elementary schools, that is. At the end, I'm going to take a picture of the final mess. These things are so slippery, they keep slipping out of my hand. I'd also assume these are supposed to be cooked, which they're not. That's all for this can. I'm going to give myself a break from the other one for a second and move on to something else. Um, I anticipate this one to be my least favorite because I'm not a fan of seafood flavored snacks, but here come the squid strips. Whoa! That smells like... That smells like it when you walk into an aquarium. Oh man. I hope I can do this one without... For some people this might be their snack, but for me... This is... It's too fishy. Oh, it feels salty and greasy. Mm. 
Okay, well, at least it's not it's not as much as I thought it would be. But, man, this smells... This, this, the smell of this is just overpowering. Oh, man. It's 45% squid, 40% cerame, cerame, I might, I'm probably saying that wrong, 5% flour, 4% starch, 3.5% seasoning, 2% sugar, and half of a percent salt. <sighs> but on the bright side, it's only 80 calories. Oh man. Oh. It's salty and sweet and burning my mouth. Oh man, that was not for me. It's so weird. It burned my mouth, and now all I taste is fish. <sighs> All right, two more bites. Two more bites. Uh, it's Christmas time. Christmas is time for miracles. Mickey Sudo could have sent this to anyone in the world. She sent it to me. I can eat it. I'm fro hungry. Oh yeah, of course. Monosodium glutamate too. That's why. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna see what's in this. Uh. All right, come on. You can do this. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done.
for some people this might be the item, but I'm just glad that it's done. And I never want to look at it again. Alright, I'm going to open this now. May Jesus have mercy on my soul. Oh no! Oh no. I don't even know what this is yet, but it looks like something fermented. Yeah. Fermented chili bean curd with sesame oil. Just my luck. And with only, um, only about 200% of your daily so sodium, which I already had close to that with this. And this didn't help either. Thanks a lot, Mickey. You know how to make this boy's Christmas joke. Oh man. Oh man. That smells like urine. I'm calling this now. I think this is going to be a vomit alert. <sighs> like urine. We'll see if it tastes like urine. Oh yeah, and of course, the um, the fermented Chili beans says keep in cold storage. This is just great. <laughs> Man, that. Mm. This. This smells like urine and like permanent marker. It tastes like urine too. Or well, I'm assuming it's it's how urine would taste. How am I gonna do this? This napkin mm, smells like the squid. My hands smell like the squid. Please let this be over soon. Mushroom and gluten. Whoa. Oh.
think I was looking forward to this. Eggnog and this gluten are not mixing well. Last thing I feel like now is more sodium. <clears throat> I'm sure as you watch this video you can see my mood going from ecstatic to not so much. Okay, <clears throat> you count this as a loss if you want to, but in my book this is still a win, not really, but, alright, I've eaten a can of the beef tamales, I ate the squid strips, which was probably the hardest thing I've ever put in my mouth, um, I ate about a third of this gluten, I'm going to have a, a big spoonful of this fermented chili bean paste, and then I'm going to call it a day because... I don't know if it's all the sodium or what, but I feel lightheaded and I feel like any second I'm about to throw up. And I know you guys wouldn't want to see me throwing up, so... <clears throat> it's this, and then I'm done. If I can even make it through this, I there's a strong chance I'm going to... There's a strong chance I'm going to throw up. Oh man, that smells like, I don't even know. <sighs> oh man, it's definitely fermented. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big layer of oil on the top. I'm going to try to get to the actual paste, try to take some of the oil off, okay. Oh man! There are big chunks in it.
fermented chili bean curd. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <clears throat> this is for you, all the fans. <sighs> fermented chili bean curd. came so close to throwing up right there. And it tasted like a permanent marker soaked in rubbing alcohol. <sighs> well, that was a fan, well not a fan package, but that was a package from the one and only Mickey Sudo. This letter I'm gonna hang on my wall next to my autograph Furious Pete picture and my LA Beast postcard. My life is complete. Mickey Sudo sent me a package. I tried everything. I got through some of it. It's a win if it's just trying it without throwing up. It's a lose if I had to eat all of it. Regardless, if you win or lose, it's the holidays. Have a fantastic holiday. Again, I want to thank you for Tracy for setting up this entire Secret Santa collaboration and Mickey Sudo, you're awesome. I was rooting for you last uh, Nathan's hot dog eating contest. I was like, yeah, you can win. Beat Sonia Thomas. Not that there's anything wrong with Sonia, but but Mickey, you're amazing. You're an inspiration. You're an inspiration to me. I think I would have rather eaten balls and guts than all this stuff. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for everyone, all my fans. It's really appreciated. I wouldn't be here without you. And have a fantastic holiday. Goodbye.